Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another FRP bypass video. Now this time we're going to be doing it on an LG device, alright? Now recently a lot of you guys have been hitting me up in the comment sections asking me how to bypass various LG devices. Now one case might not work for all phones but this is a new method that I just found out so I thought I'd share it with you guys, alright? Now in this particular video I was working on an LG device and it was really really hard guys believe me it was really hard because this phone had some particular problems in regards to freezing so sometimes I'd be halfway through the FRP bypass and it would just freeze I had to turn it off turn it back on and it would actually take 10 minutes to turn it on so if you do see the camera cut out sometimes that's only because the phone freeze and I had to stop recording and restart the device and start again sometimes it was a different location this actually took me days guys like it took me legitimately almost a week to get this thing working because I really didn't know what to do and it was hard and yeah so if you do find this video useful and helps you to bypass FRP on your device and you do appreciate the time and patience I'm taking to do all this guys let me know by smashing the thumbs up button down below all right so yeah guys without further ado let's jump into this FRP bypass so I haven't actually gone through and done it before on this phone, so we're going to do it together. I'm going to just go ahead and make sure to show you that I am on FRP. I have connected to my router. So I'm just going to show you that the FRP is on, as you can see right here. Once you know you're in this, you can't really go around it, all right? So let's hope this works. I've been looking at some videos online and I think I found it, so let's see. Let's go ahead, turn on top back. So right here. Go ahead, turn it on. Talk back on. Talk back tutorial. Showing yeah. items one to three of five. All right, let's go ahead. Global contact. Bring up the talk back settings. Talk back, talk back settings. It lists nine items. Talk back settings. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the talk back for a little bit. So just press down on the volume up and down buttons. Suspend talk back. To suspend talk it. Back. Okay, talk back suspended. All right, so once you've done that, scroll and click on help and feedback so right here click on about switch access for Android click on this let it play then click right here where it says switch access for Android all right so now you're in YouTube let's go ahead pause that click the share icon right here and share it to Gmail now down here, we're just gonna head and click done. And what we're gonna do here is put in an email address. Now don't put in a Gmail address, use a Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever. All right, I have a Hotmail, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a Hotmail. So I put the email in, I'm just gonna go ahead, click next, next. And then right here, you just click on take me to Gmail. All right. So here, click on settings. Right here, click on manage accounts. Click continue. And you're in the settings menu. All right, now once you're into the settings menu, all you need to do is go ahead, click on general, click location, and turn on location right here. Click agree, click yes, all right. Now come down here, click on location history, click these three dots right here, click view and manage. Then go ahead, click the back arrow. Now it should be in Google Maps. All you need to do now is just click on All right, so put your location right here, then just put a location nearby, click on start. All right, now it should be doing that. Now what you need to do right here is just go ahead, click on the microphone icon and say open Google. Now once that is done, you're able to go to the Google search bar and from there you can type in settings and it'll bring you to the settings menu. Now once you're in the settings menu, just go ahead to the app section and click on the show system apps. Once you're in there, you're going to need to force close a few apps 
and clear the cache and data all right so what i did here i went to the setup wizard both of them and force close the apps as well as clear the cache and data and i did the same thing to the google accounts manager now what i'm hoping to do here is to restart the device and have it just bypass the whole setup part all right Right here, I'm able to see where I can put in a name, add a fingerprint or not. That wasn't showing up before, all right? Also, as you can see right here, you have a little agreement section where you can click on and go through. Now, after accepting the agreement and clicking next, it brought me back to the same thing where I need to set up the device, all right? So right here, I was kind of freaking out, trying to figure out how to bypass this FRP. Then I remembered a video that I watched some time ago. So as you can see right here, if you scroll down in the agreement section, it's actually a number right here. So go ahead, find that number in the agreement section. Click on that number and as you will see, the phone dialer will appear. So that's great. This is what we need to go on to the next step. So just erase the number that you see there. Click on star, number sign, star, number sign, four, six, three, six, number sign, star, number sign, star. Now some of you guys might notice the code already. It'll bring you to this testing page right here. Go ahead, click on usage statistics, and then go back out, and it'll bring you to the settings menu. Some of you might be wondering, well, we were already in the settings menu, so what's different this time? We'll just wait and see, all right? Now, if you go to the settings menu, go to backup and reset, it's still not gonna be available to be reset, all right? However, if you go to the security sections, you're not able to check unknown sources. Now, that's exactly what we need to be able to install various apps, all right? So this is one step further to achieving that FRP bypass. Now, once we've turned on unknown sources, we're now able to install various apps. One of the key apps that we need for this to work is this app here called Sidebar. Now, what I did was just put it on a flash drive and use an OTG cable and connected it to the device. All right, you can use a micro SD card or SD adapter. It doesn't really matter. Just have something external if your phone doesn't have a micro SD slot. All right, now let's go ahead, put this Sidebar app on there along with another app called Shortcut Maker. I'll put the links for that in the description box down below. All right. Just go ahead, put these two ABKs on whatever storage device you have, connect it to your phone, and then just go into the storage section of the settings menu and install them, all right? Now the sidebar app is really essential because with this you're able to navigate around the UI without fumbling too much with the whole setup wizard, all right? And it actually works when you boot the device up. So if you need to restart the device for some reason, it'll be there at boot and you don't need to go through the whole process of getting to this point, all right? So let's go ahead, install the sidebar apps, and from there you can add various apps to the bar at the side, okay? So what I did here, I added Chrome, settings menu, file manager, stuff like that, all right? After we've installed those apps, what we need to do is go ahead and disable just a few more apps, okay? We're gonna be disabling a bunch of Google apps. I didn't catch everything here because I was following a, another tutorial online. Now just go ahead, go into your settings menu as usual, go to the app section, click show system apps, and you're gonna go ahead and disable these apps here. I'll list them on the screen right now. Now once you've done that, go to the shortcut maker, click on search and type in setup wizard. So after you type in setup wizard, you're gonna click on the one right here that says com.android.lg setup wizard dot setup home in it, all right? Go ahead, click that and then click launch. So after you click on launch, it's gonna take you back to the initial setup home screen, all right? Now from here, what we need to do is try to crash the setup wizard, all right? Now with this, you need to have a lot of patience and you need to move really fast.
all right guys i'm gonna just pause the video right here to kind of explain what happened next all right so at this point i was trying to crash the system it wasn't working for some time i was doing it over and over and over it wasn't working i got frustrated i stopped recording and i sat down and i was like doing the same thing over and over just trying to press next to keep going 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 back we just keep starting over and over and surprisingly it actually worked i was so shocked i like i kind of freaked out i hit record and i started to record again all right so it did work this is not a lie it's not a gimmick or anything like that it definitely did work because i mean i'm not gonna lie so yeah and let's jump back into the video oh my gosh guys like oh my gosh i kept playing with it i'm not even gonna lie you guys i kept playing with it until it actually crashed like i would not i stopped recording because i was getting frustrated and i just sat there and i kept pressing stuff and pressing stuff and i just kept pressing the back button right here next oh my god i should have got it on camera oh my god and then i saw the little thing that says some options to go ahead and i was like holy fuck sorry for the cursor but like guys this works i've been doing this for days days my brother days i've been doing it for days oh my gosh guys this actually works like this work guys this work oh my gosh like this work and at 7.0 april 1st 2017 all right and it worked back up and reset boom it's highlighted i'm gonna do this shit right now so like guys that's how you do it like i saw different stuff where you had to do some um a bunch of terminals and decal and that was really complicated and i just found this one video that said just try to crash the uh, the wizard the self wizard and i was like i just gotta try that that seems like it's gonna work you just disable all the google stuff and try to crash this system and it worked oh my gosh guys like i'm freaking out right now you guys have no idea how relieved i am like oh, damn 40 percent Let's try this, let's freaking let's, let's, let's try to reset this right now, like, I, I gotta have this. Oh, it has to be 30%, okay, okay. Alright guys, so like, that's how you do it, try to crash this, I'm, I'm not lying you at all, it definitely works, alright? Yeah, it's the same phone, it works. So I'm gonna leave this, try to 30%, and I'm going to reset this thing. Alright guys, so it's at 32% right now, so I'm just going to go and reset it, alright? And yeah, reset, goodbye FRP. Another one done guys, another one done. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for me in this video. That's how I bypass the LG FRP lock on this LG Stylus 3. It is rocking Android 7.0 and it's on the January patch, all right? As I said before guys, I do hope you found this useful. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. And if you enjoy these videos and want to see more stuff like this, then definitely subscribe to my channel, all right? Because it's been awesome. I know it's been a long video, but thanks for sticking through. And yeah, my name is Dark Coin, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Zoom.